nicht fressen. In the German language, there are two words for eating. Essen is the verb for people eating. Not eating people. I don't know what that word is. But for people eating food. Fressen is the verb used when animals eat. Menschen essen, people eat, und Kieren fressen, animals eat. Actually, fressen can be used referring to people eating as well if they eat like animals. When I was a kid, that meant devouring or sloppily eating food. Obviously, as a human, my sister and I were supposed to behave better than that. After all, we were not animals. We were superior. Unless you listen to Jesus in our gospel story for today. Jesus lifts up and holds up animals as models for us. We are to be, in a sense, like them. We are to look to them. And what a different story that is than what our culture has messaged us. According to our culture, we are above creation. We are separate and superior. Creation is meant to be ruled and used by us. And we know the result of this. We've abused God's world. We've gobbled up resources, left waste and poison in our wake devoured animal species, consuming with little regard for others or for the future. Perhaps Fressen is actually a bit more accurate and appropriate for us. After all, we are animals. And maybe if we admitted that, embraced it, listened to Jesus' words, we and God's world might be better off. At our Monday Bible study, looking at this passage, we, we talked about fear and worry, and it is true. Worry about life doesn't add a minute to our lives. This, of course, doesn't mean we should act cavalierly and rip off our masks, rush indoors, and give everyone a big hug. No, acting wisely and carefully, even animals do that. Now, we know what in our world nowadays, how dangerous anxiety can be, and that it can, in fact, shorten life. So perhaps Jesus isn't just talking about individuals, but about that culture, our system, that rewards some people for gathering power and wealth, resources to themselves, and thus impoverishing others. This pandemic has revealed what we should have known much earlier, that riches sure can purchase longer lives, you know, better health outcomes. The rich and the powerful have access to the finest medical care. But if we listen to Jesus, he should tell us, remind us that that really isn't God's intention. If God's health care plan includes the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, how much more would God want us to care for all, especially the littlest and those considered the least, because, as we are told, they are treasured by God. So today, let us hear not just a call to worry less, but to care more. Let us, like St. Francis, look into the eyes of our pets or our family. Look at the birds of the air, the grass in this park, and see our connectedness. Give thanks that we are part 
of God's beloved creation. Find hope, meaning, peace, and harmony in bird song and barking. Marvel and cherish at the diversity of the colors of fall leaves, flora, and furry friends and fauna, all of us with different gifts and all sorts of different characteristics of all of us critters of all sizes and all species, all citizens of God's kingdom, God's realm, every single one beloved by God. That is what holds us together. Amen.